I believe this will be my first railroad. Hooray! It's Civ 6 Railway Simulator. We've started. Already Amsterdam to Sorry. Two of my favourite hits. Very good. Plus, I've got Kill One now. So if I can get suzerainship of multiple type or two of the multiple types so like the instance armar and vatican give me two faith and i've got hunza and kokia which give me two um, merchantiles so if i can get mexico city for instance that will give me two production city states which is oh just just wonderful and rapanoi will give me two culture city states oh yes i mean who who could need what who could need more who could need want wanting need who <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, World's Fair sounds amazing for me. I like the sound of that. I like Trader it's being sent to me as well. I really like that one. Double great people. Let's go for engineers and I'll vote for myself. But ultimately, we're not going for a diplomatic victory. No one's really going for it. Oh, siege tactic. That means somebody just got a great scientist. We've got a great library somewhere. And look, the mausoleum has been constructed. Oh, look at that right next to my windmills. And oh, these beautiful flowers, they've all bloomed now. I've got yellows and blues and pinks and purples and whites. And next to the Giant's Causeway. That, that is a mental city. I love it utterly. Uh, okay, double scientists. Uh, Canada got that. Trade routes to Korea are pretty excitable. Uh, diplomacy. I mean, Canada's only on six points. Really, I'm not that excited about that. I've got Nobel though. Oh my god, I've got 54 points coming in per turn at the moment. Nice. Oh, I just popped him there. I could have popped him anywhere and spread my religion. Come on, Ryan. Think it through. Oh, Einstein. Einstein will be brilliant if I can pick him up. Nice. I don't want to get involved in a natural disaster. No, and I really don't want people to be attacking me in a military emergency. Stay away from me. Although, actually, that would help if Korea does go for me, I guess. Oh, no, again. Uh, Korea voted to the last. They're going to just repeatedly voting against any military emergency with me in it. I love them. I don't know why they're doing that, but they are absolutely like my best cheerleaders I've had all game. So many city-states and so little time. Oh, I just want to be friends with all of you. Every single one of you. Mmm. I lost a lot of suzerainships recently. People just aren't hanging around anymore. No one wants to be my permanent friend. It's a little bit of a shame, but never mind. We just need to make sure we've got two of every type. Like Noah's Ark two of everything in we get right lisbon actually it's gonna be a good pickup for me that should give me the bonus across my empire yes 541 of your finest gold canada has nuclear fission now i'm sorry what oh my goodness they are beelining canada is playing this game well oh straight to nukes still producing double boats very nice very nice indeed I think seeing as Korea seems to have a settler randomly in the ocean for me to attack, this would be a good time to strike. Golden Age War? Oh, go on then. I can have a war without any war weariness whatsoever. That seems quite understandably fun. Just one little yoink. Thank you very much. And oh, go on then. We'll start to raid your districts as well. Extra gold for me. Not that I'm saving up a bit of a war fund for the invention of bombers which seems to be just around the court i mean that's i mean you could say that's coincidence but i just say you know pff, who knows but i mean look at the power of these things 94 strength with my unique unit literally this city stood no chance no chance whatsoever and for loyalty and Look at this, one, two, and then there's this, it's sat on a coal as well. So this has got three things of coal in it. Oh, oh yes. In fact, I will buy, a, I could get a builder in there just to, to get that one for me. There is my era score for completing a beautiful industrial zone. Very nice indeed. And Lovelace, that's, she's brilliant. She'll help my capital become even better than it was before. Uh, yes, I will treat myself to an ironclad. That's the use of coal. Another era score here. Oh no, they stole their settler back. That is unfortunate for them, mainly, because it just gives my boats uh, a little bit more time just to sort of come round and attack with them. The only thing I've got to be a little careful of is I have this beautiful missionary army just blanketing the Crusade Believe over to them. I just need to make sure that I don't leave, you know, any, any troops that can get pillaged or, or or ruined by Korean ships. I don't think Korea's got a lot of army. 400 military strength is all they've got here. 
yeah, it's all land army from what I can tell, so we should be okay. Again, using trade routes to give myself more suzerains. Oh, that's a science one. They give me extra science from great works. Do I have any great works? Oh, I do. I stole a few. Isn't that lovely? Advanced flight. Okay, we're on 1,700 gold. I need a little bit more than that. I'll be honest, I need a little bit more. I'm sure Canada can give me some stuff for the diplomatic favor, which I'm probably about to lose. There we go, look at that. All up from Tasty. It's always one of those interesting decisions, actually. Once we B-land, what do we do? Well, I quite like the idea of getting battleships. Those are quite fun, but to make battleships super interesting, you need to combine them with seaports. So I'm going to get electricity for now. Own two privateers. Do I really not have that? that? That's surprising. How have I not got two privateers? I need to build a few more privateers anyway, to be fair. Uh, because submarines are just the best pillages ever. I have another two envoys. I'm going to put them both in Antananarvio. Yes, that's exactly how you put it in. Because the 2% culture for every great person that I have earned is quite a decent boost for me. 14%? Hey, that's up to 300 culture now. Nice. And if I can convert this city whilst being at war with them, that's another bunch of era score. And we'll take that. Always take era score. In the meantime, however, what's that? A bomber? Oh, go on then. Starting to really siege Korea now. This is quite exciting. But what happens if you pillage one of these unique campus districts? What do I get for that? Faith? Faith? Oh, it's the most boring of all the outcomes. Never mind. Canada doesn't realise this yet, but their decision as to whether or not they're going to join in on this war will determine whether or not I remain allied to them. Yes. Yes. Okay, they will. So, friendship? Oh, okay. But you know what? Actually, they may not want to be friends with me anyway. But we'll, we'll make an effort. If I can get a military ally, it'll make this conquest just a tiny bit easier. Converting this city, will you do it? There we go. A nice three era score for that. And just on top of that one, it means that my ships now do a bunch more damage, which is lovely. So in we go, starting to pelt the city now. Delightful. Like, okay, th this, is, this is my continual frustration with Civ. I know it's just me, and I know it's just because of user error, but like, look, this missionary should be able to go to this tile here by going one, two, or even one, two, three, four. But whenever you do it, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna jump on top of that island and then come back. No, as soon as you do that, your, your embarked and unembarked problems are gonna sort of appear and you're not gonna be able to have the movement to do it. So I've gotta physically handle it all the way around. Oh. That is just one of the most frustrating things I find about this edition of Civ, just the, the inability for it to, to know what it's doing when it comes to just like sensible automated movement. Ugh, oh, what a pain. Oh, the range of bombers is amazing. Two turns is all it needs to basically move across the entire map and help. Actually, Jinju is a fantastic place for it. What's the range of us? 10. So if I'd show you, that is the range from that city, in, so I can hit both of the Korean cities. Oh, yes. That's actually... Let's just test the range from this city. Uh, no, just out of range, but if I move it to this city, then yeah, I could attack the one. Okay. I might as well move it over to the conquered territory, to be fair. There we go. There's the friendship. I knew Canada would want to do it eventually, after seeing my army just destroy everything around. Oi! Right, now don't, don't be pillaging this uh, unit. How much health has it got? Oh, 23 out of 100. No, you need to back off. Two more envoys. Every time I get envoys the normal way, it just makes me very happy. Ah, Muscat, actually. I could take over. Or I could steal Nazca. And I know that they have actually taken the troops from Nazca. So I'm just going to do this quickly. Uh, yoink. Thank you very much. That's now not your city anymore. One attack. Amazing. Followed by, you know, the Privateer. I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep pillaging with it for now as long as I can coastal raid that little extra faith does help oh I don't want to have to retreat this unit but I'm gonna have to go and retreat yourself and then the ironclad is just chilling at the moment okay now we're okay we're fine at the moment on time so we don't need to rush this we are doing very very well just one attack followed by the two attacks oh yeah the capital is now beginning to fall as well lovely even landed a musketman right next door which is quite entertaining 
This entire playthrough though has just been how many polders can I create? So far, I'm up to 23. I think we can do better. I think we can do better. Personally, I think they should change the polder requirement so that other polders count as land when constructing polders and then you could actually use polders so like I could put a polder here because it was next to three polders and then I could put one there and then there and then there and then there and then there and suddenly before you know it the entire sea is polders now that would be an entertaining game check out this new little city as well this is my stolen city and aluminium right there for me we might actually be able to get through this city this turn oh 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 hello yes all right so that ironclad can take the city i think i will do that yes oh that's lovely right um that's going to be totally unloyal so we've got to hope that other cities are going to fall i'm actually going to take a risk with that ship and attack with it because i believe this bomber can actually now come and finish it all off and with the musketman there, actually I've got a caravan next door, so the musketman can just give me a little bit more gold, because of course the bomber fund is much, much more important. But then this city is now mine as well. Okay, that is amazing. And what I'm also going to do is I've just brought a lovely so that I'm going to use a charge of her on this city, because with the Vatican, it means it spreads my religion around like crazy. Which I should have done it over here, because I would have hit that city, but... I think, it, I think it did hit the city. I think it did hit the city, but I don't think the graphic played for it. But look, these missionaries are having a bit of fun spreading my religion anyway, so that's all good. Look, I'm already putting polders in Korea's land. If this is an improvement, I don't know what is. I think if, if I was Korea, I would be happy to be conquered right now, just so that polders could appear in my land. <laughs> the only problem with all these polders is it means whenever I build boats, they can't get out of my docks because it's just polders make the land so slow to travel through. Oh, that could be a bit of a problem. Fun fact though, polders, they do actually stack with the mausoleum. So they're just amazing tiles to have. Oh, beautiful. The last of Korea cities has now been converted. Again, just making my life a little easier when I do invade it, which is very, very soon. Gahokia, that is now again another city state on side ho 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 we're building up now with one attack and oh you know what <laughs> this one doesn't even need to attack i can just sort of pillage and pillage and do all kinds of nice things because i've naturally got this boat coming in oh no i say that i've pillaged right on top of the unit that i was going to be okay right the city state may take it from me i i may have i may have mucked that up massively Canada is going to be really tricky to fight, but it means that I'm going to go after Egypt first. Egypt are pretty easy to get to, to be fair. They have a lot of cities on the coast. They're not very strong. So, yeah, not expecting a huge amount of resistance, really. Especially with a bomber or, or three. Right. Sorry, Egypt. We're going to denounce you. You were a really good friend, and I'm going to miss you a lot. But it's okay, Golden Age War. Ha ha! Quickly! Burn their cities before these aircraft get mysteriously stationed there. That would not be fun. Oh, they've actually only got ancient walls in this city. Oh, fortification. They haven't got steel. They have not got steel. That is exciting for everybody involved here. Don't mind me. My bomber is just disintegrating your entire ancient walls in one hit. That's just sort of what we do, really. Should we try this one again? I think we should. The city is now mine, and Korea is out of the game. Oh, I actually managed to remove Canada's religion from a city. I feel they've been at religious war with Egypt for so long that the resistance on their cities is pretty low. Oh, oh, can I declare war? Oh, no, I can't. I keep forgetting that about Canada. I was kind of hoping that ability with it would happen where you can sort of trick them into going, oh, you're not declaring war on me, are you? And I go, uh, yes. Oh my god. Oh, Kamasi, you legend. They just actually killed that Egyptian city. I mean, I was going to take that for myself, but I like the ambition of the city-state. It's actually weirdly helpful from it. Yeah, but yeah, Canada, damn, you can't declare surprise wars, even if basically the computer is asking you if you want to go to war. Still doesn't work. Never mind. Anyway, Schrodinger. Three texts from Atomic or Information Era. This 
is pretty effective now is there any way i want to spread my religion around i'm just thinking in terms of campuses i could put it over by korea's area but i think i mean it doesn't really matter does it i could go and spread it to cahokia and to the vatican so let's go to this city getting the first city on the egyptian mainland is going to be a big deal for me because at the moment my bomber range is poor very poor to say the least oh, a great lighthouse oh that'll help that is an amazing pickup when you pick that one up. It makes your navy so much more versatile, maneuverable. Let's see what we get. Rocketry, lasers, and combined arms. Oh, combined arms is brilliant. Yes. Refining. Here we go. Right, let's get battleships and let's get electricity sorted. Battleships won't be the biggest upgrade for me because my unique boats do a huge, huge amount of damage to city walls as it is, but... I need little helps. I've now got two bombers on this city, which is delightful. Let's just quickly heal yourself. And I think if we get this boat to take the walls off, are you going to be able to do that? No? Yes? Oh, these Renaissance walls are a bit tougher to shift, but there we go. That's it done. Um, coastal raid, some science. Oh, lovely. I'm just going to treat myself to Rockefeller with my ridiculous amount of faith that I've built up per turn. It's, uh, it's pretty pretty impressive. The aim of the game now is to take as many cities over in one turn as possible. Look at that. Oh, their capital had ancient walls. That's pretty appalling as well. So actually the capital's looking pretty, pretty dodge. But if I attack this city and then bring the ironclad in like so, that's the first city taken. Now that would not stand by itself, but that doesn't matter because then I can attack with this unit. And then I think the ironclad, yeah, the ironclad could finish it off. So let's just quickly just get some privateer plundering. That's another 300 science just off the bat of it. And then I'll take this city like so. Okay, those two cities now should help to keep each other loyal. Um, let's have a look at this. 16 turns and 13 turns. Yeah, that's plenty. Plenty, especially because I've got Victor and Moksha that can both pop in this exact purpose they are my war governors they pop in one of them indoctrinates people into my new civilization with the church and faith the other one just builds military defenses until everybody submits it's a it's a good combination really you can see i have by far the biggest navy in this game the orange fleet stuffed full of oranges limes incidentally banned across my entire empire i will not stand for them it's orange or nothing. I'm very, very particular on my citrus tastes. And in comes the bomber. Oh, oh, Egypt. You were, you were not long for this world. Especially because with steel, my cities are now impenetrable for the AI to get through. There's the five-year plan. Lovely. Public works, liberalism, forced modernization. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on because I think my battleship upgrades are right around the corner, really. Colonial Texas is finally giving me gold. Look at that. Oh, it took a while. It took a while, but we got there eventually. Let's stick that instead of Diplomatic League. Don't need that one. Gunboat Diplomacy is a really fun one, but I'll save that until I get Democracy. And yeah, all of these things are lovely. Now, speaking of Democracy, I believe it's just uh, down here. Suffrage. It's 310 gold for an upgrade to my Divzenven... Um, unique unit fleet actually that is a fleet isn't it oh wow look at that nice one more city which coincidentally is their capital and also oh mashi pishu oh yes that always is delightful with how much that contributes to your empire because all the districts by mountains suddenly getting lots and lots of stuff oh, plus like an extra economic policy oh oh that's intriguing let's go for economic union why not right let's have a quick look at this 435 science now yeah we're doing all right aren't we oh look at this i have a Dzenven unit which has four promotions it's only a single one but it has the plus one range and i've got a fleet here with no promotions combining the two and suddenly and now i have an armada with all four promotions oh yes that is that is oh spicy here comes rockefeller conveniently being triggered in egypt's land Look at that, Vatican giving me a nice little boost of religion. It's going to need more than that, but it's quite fun. Even better. Submarine upgrade is barely anything as well. 
And we've already got six oil per turn. That is useful. Well, better get ourselves a lot of improved navy, I think. One more city to add to the pile. Egypt had some amazingly high population cities on this little island. Very impressed and very grateful as I snaffle them all up. One more city on this main continent. I think Mendez. I don't know if I can be bothered. It seems like a pretty weak city up there. Five population. I think I'm just going to leave that to the loyalty gods. By the loyalty gods, I mean, you know, we'll see whether the game will allow it to remain. A little bit of uh, faith there. Submarine attack, followed by an ironclad. Oh, that's not going to quite be enough. Uh, where is my four upgrade battleship? There it is. Okay, so if I bring you out and you in, I can shoot over the top. There we go. And in we go. Now, it's all about playing the waiting game. Declared friend expires in 15 turns. And, uh... Well, there's a lot of Canadian cities here. A lot of Canadian cities. I'm just going to start conveniently parking my, my navy just, just right by. No, no reason. I love it when you obliterate somebody and you can't make peace with them because it's still within 10 turns. Oh, Egypt. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I just took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then you had a 7th city killed. All within 9 turns. Ouch. I just found another city-state. Samarakand, oh my goodness, they're still appearing just in the middle of the, uh, <laughs> of the tundra. I mean, sure. Look at them, they're all ready to trade in this desolate frozen wasteland. They've got fish, they've got two trading domes. Come to the frozen north. We've got trading domes here. I mean, there's only three people that live here and Canada loves it. I mean, you can understand that, but I mean, what a random city. By the way, with all this war, I'm clearly democratic, you know? I don't want anyone to be saying anything otherwise. Clearly democratic. Now let's get New Deal in. That will give me a ton of amenities. It'll help just to make things a little bit easier for me. And gunboat diplomacy. Sh sure. Why not? That seems to be, that sums up my game really. Like I am diplomatic. I am democratic. I, I engage with the other people on this planet, but I just tend to engage with gunboats rather than words. Well, hmm. Yeah, now here's the thing, if I take gunboats to the shore of, say, I don't know, Canada, and I actually stuff the cannons of the gunboats with nothing but pamphlets of, like, democratic and diplomatic wording, does that count? If I fire, if I fire good thoughts at the, at the Canadians? Is that a thing? Am I allowed to do? I don't know. Might as well give it a try. You know what? I, I will allow you peace. I will allow you peace, because quite honestly, I need somebody else to trade with. Now, the question is going to be, can I make friends with them? <laughs> okay, I've got minus 73 relationship with them, so maybe not. Uh, maybe if I liberate Mendez enough, they'll, they'll slowly forgive me. Oh my god, have I really only just put the power on? I've had this, I've had those buildings for so long. I, I don't know what memo this guy received, but, but that's not the railroad I was intending here. That, that seems a little circular, but I mean, admittedly, an amazing view of all the polders. Is that just the inner polder circuit? I mean, I, I suddenly love it. Ah, oh, I've ruined it now. Boo! See, I told you I was democratic and diplomatic. A level of diplomatic visibility with all other civilizations. Hooray! Don't mind me as I just casually build an aircraft carrier for some of my bombers. Ah, that's a bit better. Now I can bomb across the ocean with great success. And destroyers as well. Oh, now these are exciting little units. Professional sports. Because that's what I needed to keep myself happy in this day and age whilst this war cooks on. More sports. Sometimes you don't really, I just don't understand it. Like this city has four immunities, but two luxuries coming in. And this city has zero and zero coming in. Like, surely you could have sent at least one of them across. Very strange sometimes. I wish, like, ugh, the immunity system, generally speaking, I love it. I think it's really good, and I think it, it sort of automates itself really, really well. There's very little you've actually got to worry about with it when you're playing the game. So I, I quite enjoy that. You, you don't want a system that's so um, pernickety that you have to end up, like, manhandling it and, and, and micromanaging it every turn. I, I get that totally, but I wish there was a way that you could change where the amenities were going in your cities because it just feels sometimes the choices the cities make, I don't know, just really stupid. 
anyway, that's just me rambling. Oh, yes, actually, I'm going to be, again, I could be making corporations, but I'm actually using this um, great merchant to bump and try and spread all my religion around a bit more. Come on, worship my religion. It's so much better. Let's get this admiral. He gets less war weariness. And I think, should we get good old Mary Leakey? I don't actually know if we've got any. We do have archaeological museums. Uh, we could get her. Could be a little bit of faff though. Luckily, it's actually pretty easy to convert over to my religion with Inquisitors because I've spread so much of my pressure around. Just removing the other religions, like just presence, is enough normally for me to sort of get this going. Oh my word, that is the most tornadoes I've seen in one place ever. Oh. Oh dear, they really will be itching after that one. Finally finished my first canal in this area though. The only problem is an antiquity site appeared on that tile. I can't actually build the canal I wanted to here, so I've actually got to build a theatre square purely so that I can build <laughs> an archaeologist to get the antiquity site off. I mean, I know I could do it in my other city, but I'm choosing to find this really painful just to make a point. Holy site converted. Good, 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 good. Oh, we can't be having, can't be having this religion anywhere near our land. Oh, I won the World's Fair. I think I might actually be oh, doing quite well diplomatically. Yeah, five points. Hey, you know what? Considering what I've been up to this game, that's not bad. Canada just got nuclear fusion. Oh my god, they are just beelining nukes. I think they think it's the only way they're going to win this game. And to be fair, I think it probably is. Um, I'm actually going to vote for Canada to get a point because that'll give me a point. Uh, they're probably going to win it because they've got the most. I'm going to vote for myself to have a culture bomb and I'm going to say that democracy, yes, should get a wild card policy slot. I'm going to force that one through with six votes and then put four on this. Let's see if it worked. Oh, that looks pretty reassuring. That might have worked. Oh, Vatican, poor you. Yes, 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 okay, so I was actually three points behind them, and I'm still three points behind them, so that's pretty good. Just like, we've got our got our nails in here, we're being dragged along with Canada. What do I do with it, though? That's the question. I mean, honestly, I've got everything I ever could have wanted, really. Sports media would probably give a few more amenities, but I've got loads of amenities now. Invention? Great Invention? I quite like Great Invention, actually. That's not a bad policy card, so let's put that in. I've got a huge amount of uh, Great Engineer points anyway, so that's pretty good. And with the Aquatic Center in Amsterdam, look at that! Ten amenities in my capital. Oh, you gotta love democracy. It is a lot of fun. So this Great Admiral is the one that lets you retire and get 25% less war weariness than usual. Now, that's a really good one, but what you can do is you can actually send the admiral in and then expend the charge right by the enemy cities and bam look at that i spread all my religion around <laughs> it's like a religious culture bomb i love it it's allowing me to build colossus in three turns and petra in three turns so you know what i'm doing it colossus by the giant bright spinning wheel which of course lights up as soon as i do this I'm beginning to really, really appreciate these zoom-ins because you can see some fantastic detailing in your cities. They're really cool. Just little fishing boats here with its little trawlers. No, oh, although that appears to be some sort of luminous, like one of those angle fish or like the, the you know the horrible fish that live in the bottom of the sea. In fact, it's actually attracted a giant crab you can see down there. Ugh, we won't go into that. There is the other holy city now converted again. Just making sure that Canada is all crusaded lovely just before my friendship runs out in one turn. And with this, we have an artifact now. Yep, let's go for this one. So Mary Leakey has got a full powered charged BAM. Oh, lovely. Social media, you know what this means? Collective activism. Oh, that's a good, that's a good policy card. Let's just get rid of Merchant Confederation briefly. And here we go. Here we go, 1,324. Oh, oh yes. And Petra as well, huge rock next to a mountain. I like the fact that Petra is almost bigger than this mountain. It's like, sure. And where is that water coming from? Are we milking the mountain? Is that a thing? Now again, here's the fun thing. Tank comes in, John Monash, 
who I can just bring to this tile in theory. Are you not going to let yourself go there? There you go. I can retire him on that tile, which gives a huge burst of religion over to Canada again. The Quebec City is stubbornly refusing to obey my religion, but that's fine. That's fine. We don't mind, really. Hello. Um, I'm going to denounce you, my friend, Canada. It's a shame. I know, but I've got Golden Age as well. So, tough. Tough for you. You're, uh, you're five, seventeen million leagues of peace. None of it's going to work. Right. In comes the bomber force. And let's see how effective my battleships are. Not that effective, actually. Not that effective at all. Okay, well, we may actually have to take this a little bit seriously. Golden Age for Canada, Dark Age for Egypt. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for to arms. Why not? I mean, really, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at this stage. We're doing very nicely. Our battleships. I mean, this one's taking a bit of a hit, but I'll just do that thing where we can... Move it back, and I think actually, what am I going to do with you? I can just kill this encampment. Why not? This bomber can come in. The one thing I realised I didn't do was use my bombers last time on the aircraft carriers because they were still technically asleep. So with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a wiggle, there is Quebec, and I can come in immediately and go blomp. There's my religion. Fire, 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 fire! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, yes. Pillage, pillage. Oh, pillaged one too many times. But Montreal has now fallen as well. The usual thing. In comes Victor and in comes Moksha. The dream team, really. And again, I'm immediately civilizing Canada by putting polders down. Why was I not here before? Oh look, Canada's being targeted by an aggressive enemy. Yeah, we've got to help them. I'll get in on that. Sure. I mean, it doesn't stop me being at war with them, but you know. Now, this bomber has Crusade because he's on an aircraft carrier that's in Ottawa's sea. That's, um, that feels like a blatantly, understandably fair usage of the rules of Crusade. I think that's entirely what the developers intended when they made that skill. So I will run with it. There's an encampment, a hill, and also a mountain in the way, but my battleship will fire over the top of it anyway, because it can. And can Mr. Super Tank come in and just charge straight into Ottawa? The fact the game is thinking about it gives me the understanding that it worked. A small country, a great people, so sorely tried. Oh, yes. Oh, the Dutch are brilliant. I love them. I loved everything about them. I, they were brilliant. Extra campus, extra industrial zone, extra theatre square. All of that stuff with rivers it is amazing. I didn't even notice the culture of a loyalty on the trade routes. I'll be honest, it was totally pointless. But, I mean, everything else about them, the unique boat especially, and polders were just a joy. Oh, they were beautiful. I loved them. I loved them. Right, player culture, you can see I did quite well after this point because I took over city-states. City-states, if you ever want to play a culture game, make sure you get city-states because that is a huge, huge thing for culture for you. Science, again, I wasn't really doing that well, actually. I was kind of just cruising along until like halfway. I had a very slow, very um, narrow start. Like I was on like three cities for a good amount of time. In fact, actually, look, up to three cities. Yeah, look at that from turn 64 to turn 200. I didn't found a single city. Yeah, but I did capture a lot, so, you know, that works well for me. Um, Total Religions Founded, again, really important, this one. Make sure you learn that. And, quite frankly, none of you guys care about any of that. All you guys care about is the railroad situation, and you'll be pleased to know I was building railroads, although it was a slightly strange game for it. Archipelago maps, as long as Civ doesn't have bridge districts, which I think would be a brilliant addition, or at least tunnels, or something like that. Until they have that, then, you know, Archipelago maps aren't going to lend themselves to railways, but I connected up all of these cities. I connected up all of these cities down here as well. This island was connected up. I tried to build railroads on polders. Apparently you can't do it because polders, of course, are water tiles. I should have known that because of the fact that they're being improved by things like the mausoleum. So, you know, that should have been blatantly obvious to me, but it wasn't. So that's fine. I didn't really get time to do much. I just landed my military engineers on Egypt's continent and I was doing exactly the same thing to there and I would have just come over to the Dutch here. But, hey, that was really good fun. 
As a reminder to everybody, Discord is the place for you if you want the map file, if you want any of the mods I use, or if you've got any questions about the setup of the game. The community on Discord is brilliant. Thank you so much for watching everybody and being here and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. And until next time, I shall see you later. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech and Helge Torp for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else that likes, subscribes, joins up with Discord and all of the other people who support me on Patreon. You really help me to do what I do. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.